Hi everyone, this is Darcy with PreservingMySanity.com. Just wanted to come on for a few minutes and talk today about tomatoes. It is September 16th here in Southwest Minnesota and we're actually a little bit behind schedule as far as our harvest goes this year for gardening things. Um, we had a really weird year. It was really rainy this spring and it was really cold and then it got really really hot about two days after we planted and then there was no rain and then there was a lot of rain and anyway it was just all messed up so um, we actually didn't get a ripe tomato until maybe like two weeks ago and we aren't gonna have as many as we usually do usually we make a really big batch of salsa and a really big batch of spaghetti sauce to can and then we also end up with a lot of green tomatoes at the end right before it freezes because there's always a bunch of tomatoes that are coming and then the weather gets too cold and so we always have a ton of green tomatoes and so we always make green tomato salsa as well we we probably will end up with plenty of green tomatoes this year to do that with. Um, but what I have had enough tomatoes for so far is I made a batch of tomato jam. Um, I'll put these recipes in the comments of the video. Um, actually, I did a blog post last week talking about all of this, so I'll probably just link my blog post. So if you want to learn more about any of these things I'm talking about, you can go in there and the recipes are all linked in my blog post. But um, I made a batch of tomato jam, I made a batch of zesty tomato salsa, and I also made a batch of ketchup. Um, the ketchup I actually use store-bought canned tomatoes for my ketchup um, because I don't like all the seeds in there and if you buy the diced tomatoes from the store, you know, they, they don't have the seeds in there. So um, I do kind of my own thing with the ketchup, I, I mean I use an approved recipe but I I use tomatoes from the store for my ketchup but I made ketchup too this month um, or in August so those are the things I've made so far just wanted to talk about a couple of things tomato wise um, you know if you grow tomatoes you know that they don't all get ripe at the same time um, you know you get a couple of handfuls here and a couple of handfuls there and it's never really enough to do anything with. So something you can do that's really, really cool is just take the whole tomato from your garden all the way ripe, um, you know, or, or pick it when it's almost ripe, let it sit on the counter for a couple of days and it'll ripen that way. Um, but take those whole tomatoes, wash them off, and just stick them in the freezer. I actually have a grocery bag full of tomatoes in my freezer right now. They're all ripe and cleaned and um, by cleaned, I just mean washed off, but it's the whole tomato in the freezer. Um, and then when you have enough to do something with, you can just take them all out and um, put them in a steamer pot. Uh, we just put a steamer basket in the bottom of our big stainless steel pot, put a couple of batches of tomatoes in there. You wanna let them thaw out for a while first, otherwise what'll happen is as you, cause you wanna steam them to get the skins loose basically. So if you try to do them from total frozen at that point, they'll end up turning to mush before they thaw enough to get the skins off. So when you take them out of the freezer, you wanna let them thaw for a little while and then put them in that steamer basket with you know just a little bit of water in the bottom of the pot the steamer basket and then you know fill it maybe like half full with tomatoes depending on the size of your pot you don't want to fill it all the way to the top or anything because then what happens is the ones on the bottom end up turning to mush and the ones on the top barely get done so it's something that you want to do in batches um, but you know steam them for 10 minutes 15 minutes um, until they seem like they're starting to like the um, skins will split a little bit and stuff to where it seems like you'll be able to just pop them off. So you do that and then you take them out of there and put them in a pot to cool um, and then we actually when we're doing like our big batch of salsa and our big batch of sauce we have a Victorio food strainer and it's amazing. Um, I will I don't think I put a link to that in my blog post the other day so I'll put a link to that in the comments of this video. Um, on YouTube I won't be able to but um, if you pop over to my Facebook page you'll see the link there um, it's or my blog at preservingmysanity.com I have a, a page there with all of my favorite products on it um, you'll find it there too but um, anyway it's a Victorio 
food strainer and it processes a ton of tomatoes really well and really quickly. Um, so that's something that we use um, mainly for the big batches. Like when I made my small batch of zesty salsa last weekend, I didn't I didn't break out the food strainer. I just did those by hand because it was just like a batch of seven pints. But when we do the great big huge batch, the, the food strainer is definitely worth worth breaking out and, and using. Um, so I just wanted to mention those things about tomatoes. Um, I don't know, it's been a weird year. It's kind of nice to not have as much canning to do, um, yet still have some projects to do. It's been a little bit of a nice break actually, um, but I'm not sure that we're gonna end up with enough tomatoes to make any spaghetti sauce, and it's really weird to think about buying that at the store, but um, I guess we'll see. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day. I hope this was helpful, and um, check out the blog, treasuringmysanity.com, and we'll talk to you later, bye.